Porn use has been out of my control for a long time and I battle against it, but I haven't been able to cut it out completely. I've always been worried my penis is not big enough for women, which has let me back for many years, helped me back for many years. Any suggestion, how do, how do I overcome this? Well, part of the reason why you're worried about your penis size is because you're watching all these giant dicks stroking pussy on your phone. Get off the porn. The weird thinking that you have about your dick uh, has everything to do with it, the fact that you're watching fake sex on on screens. When I say fake sex, I mean embellished. It's, you know, they find the guys with the grit with the biggest cocks to do these movies, right? You're like watching the, you're watching sex Hollywood. And honestly, bro, this really the size of your dick is not what matters. It's the motion in the ocean. And that is the truth. You can have a giant dick and be a, be a premature ejaculator and don't know how to feel your woman out and give her what she needs. And you, you, you're no good. You can have an average size penis and know how to use it well, and she'll be just, she'll be very grateful for you. The problem is you got distortions because of the porn. You got mental distortions and you got body dysmorphia. That's what it's called. You got body dysmorphia because of the porn. You got to get the porn habit destroyed and never turn back ever. You gotta make that your greatest goal in life right now because it will destroy your life. It is a ball and chain that will destroy your marriage and it will ultimately destroy your life. You destroy your marriage, you're gonna destroy your life. You're not thinking right, you're hypnotized, you're overcome by a demon that is lying to you. You gotta hate porn. You gotta learn to hate pornography, hate it, disdain it. You got to cut it out from, you got to, you have to use covenant eyes or something where you are held accountable for your use. Find all the situations that are near occasions of sin for you and you got to avoid every near occasion of sin. If that means, you know, every time I'm alone by myself in the house, that's when it happens. Don't be alone by yourself in the house. Leave the house. That was one thing I noticed about myself when I was smoking weed. I would smoke weed out when my whole family would be outside. That's when I would smoke weed. You know what I started doing in order to break that? Because I realized that's the near occasion of sin. I realized, oh, the near occasion of sin is when my when I'm a home by myself. So you know what I started doing? When I know my family is going to be away, I plan to be out of the house. Mostly, I just try to go to masses. I'll find churches all within an hour. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to drive an hour to go to mass. By the time I get home, it's like, all right, well. That craving is gone. I'll give you two pieces of advice. Fast to the bone. Not 72 hours, 100 hours, 200 hours. Fast till your dick don't work no more. You know how I know that works? Because it happened to me. When I was fasting like a maniac, I stopped getting boners. Because my testosterone levels were low. But I still had a lot of energy for work. It was crazy. But I just didn't want sex. Fast away your libido. And number two, pray the sorrowful mysteries and pray in front of a bloody crucifix. This came from Jesse Romero. He said, because it's all about mortifying the flesh. The entire set of sorrowful mysteries, which is, you know, Christ, uh, his passion, you know, crying in the, in the garden, getting whipped, scourged, right? Crown of thorns, carrying his cross, being crucified. It's all atonement for the sins of the flesh. So pray in front of a bloody crucifix and fast, fast. Fast till your dick don't work no more. Done. Gain total self-mastery and control over your drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone forever. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here. And if you're seeing this ad, it's because I want to help you. If you're a married man who owns a business but struggle to overcome those late night vices that you're trying to hide from the world, including your wife, clients, and colleagues, whether it's drinking, drugs, overeating, or viewing filth on your phone, all these vices that you're trying to hide, you know they're killing you on the inside. Plus, crippling your business and failing your family. If you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, then click the link in this YouTube ad. Because for the first time in my 17 years on YouTube, I have a program that not only makes men strong, but has the power to fix families, repair businesses, and restore faith in a world gone wild. But it all starts with men like you who are ready to take action. Now, I don't have enough time to explain how it works here in this short clip, which is why I put together a four minute video for you to watch on exactly how it works. So click the link here, watch the video now, it's completely free. 
And if you're ready to destroy vice and dominate life, and be the man that you're called to be, I'll see you on the inside. Done. <laughs>